G'day, g'day everyone, how you going? My name is Jay, and I hope you're doing okay today. Welcome, welcome everyone to Vault Hunters. This is a mod pack that I'm going to be playing through and hopefully you guys are going to come along for the journey. What I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown of this mod pack and tell you what you think you can expect from this series. So this is modded by Craft. This is a mod pack called Vault Hunters and essentially the name of the game is to run vaults. What are vaults you might ask? I've just said vaults like a lot of times. I'm sorry, but <laughs> the name of this mod pack is essentially to run through these kind of mini dungeons and that's what vaults are They're like mini dungeons and essentially you have to try to loot through these dungeons within 25 minutes You get a 25 minute timer You try to get as much gear and loot and upgrades as possible and if you get super super lucky you find an artifact Long story short, this mod pack requires you to collect 25 artifacts and once you've collected 25 artifacts, you go through the big final boss vault and if you defeat it, you win the entire mod pack, aka you win the game. Now that is just a very brief and quick overview, there's so much to dive into this mod pack, we're going to do it as we play along, so I really hope you guys are up for the journey. While we play along, I'm hoping to see some comments and suggestions from people who might play this mod pack and have a ton of experience to be able to help me along the way. Or if not, I would actually suggest you guys, if you wanted to download this mod pack and play alongside me, check the link in the description. I've linked the mod pack. That would be a lot of fun, I think. If you wanted to play alongside me or, or start your own world, that would be great. And if you have any experience with this mod pack, please feel free to leave a comment down below. But without further ado, let's get into this mod pack because I'm super excited to play through this series. Now, the very first objective that we need to do is defeat Vanilla Minecraft. So, if you have a look on my screen, you will notice a few things that are different. Up the top left, we have a mini map. Pretty standard stuff, but very useful as always. Let's us know where we are in the world. Oh my, I see a village already. Wow, okay. That's going to lead me to my next point in just a second. Second of all, you can see something at the top right hand side of my screen called five unspent skill points. We're going to touch on that in just a moment. And finally, down the bottom of my screen, above my hunger bar, you see this little empty XP bar with the level zero. What that is, is my Vault Hunter XP. And the only way that that can go up is from clearing out vaults. But we cannot do that until we've defeated the Ender Dragon, so we can create a vault portal and go and run these vaults. So until we do that, we kind of just have to do basic vanilla Minecraft stuff. Uh, you know, go down, go punch a tree, uh, make a house, get some food, all that good stuff. We have to try to go and defeat the Ender Dragon. That's going to be my objective for this video. Now, getting back onto the five unspent skill points. Uh, in this mod pack, one of the biggest things, if not the biggest thing about this entire mod pack, is actually getting some skills and abilities to help you along your way. Even though we don't really have any access to mods until we defeat the Ender Dragon, there are some things that we have access to. So if I press my H key by default, that will bring up this window, pretty much explaining uh, my character stats. And as you can see, these tabs up the top, these two tabs right here are going to be our best friends until we defeat the Ender Dragon, even throughout that, even throughout this entire mod pack. So as you can see, there's me, hello, um, and on this screen here, we have this skill tree with a whole bunch of other different skills. It's really overwhelming. Don't really worry about all of them. We're just going to be looking at a few of them, mainly this one, for example. This is a skill that we can unlock right off the rip because we have five unspent skill points. A, a perk like this called Vein Miner. Vein mines several blocks at once used by holding down the ability key while breaking blocks. So essentially this is going to help if we wanted to chop down a tree or, or mine some coal or anything like that. This perk is going to allow us to, to be able to make our lives so much easier. Let me give you an example. Okay, so I have my pick and I'm ready to go. Just like Vanilla Minecraft, you'd come over here and start mining away your cobble. Or whatever you wanted to mine at, right? Well, that's a little bit too slow and a little bit too boring. If we wanted to make that a little bit more interesting, we'd come over to our skill tree here and put one point into Vein Miner, which is going to allow us to break four blocks when we hold down the ability key while breaking blocks. This works on trees as well, by the way. So let me just show you an example. Now, if you have a look down the very bottom left-hand side of my screen, you can see a, a, new, a new thing down there on the bottom left-hand side. It's three pickaxe symbols. Right now, that shows what abilities you've unlocked. At the moment, we only have vein miner, so it's 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 taking up those three slots. But if I hold down the ability key, which for me is left alt, if I hold this down while I mine this cobble, it's just taking out four bits, four blocks of cobble at once. So look, I only have to essentially mine three blocks, 
and I've just picked myself up 15 pieces of cobble from three pieces from breaking three blocks isn't that crazy so this is just a bit of an example on what the skill tree can do there's so many other different things that we can get into with this mod pack like this one for example mega jump launch yourself high up in the sky with a mega jump there's a lot of cool stuff but I just wanted to quickly kind of mention it because this is going to be one of the biggest biggest points of this mod pack now getting back to vanilla minecraft and one of the next most important parts of this mod pack defeating the ender dragon now that would usually take quite a long time playing vanilla minecraft but again we have some things that can help us out first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into this second tab of skill tree so not this one here but the next one and again a ton of different abilities don't really worry about that it's a little overwhelming but this one right here twerker oh god <laughs> the name of it but this is a really op perk grants the ability to speed up tick rates on several objects while holding down shift the effective range so on and so forth essentially what this is this grows your crops almost instantly by doing a little bit of talking you know if it's for the crops i don't mind it so that leads me to the second part of the, one of the most important parts about this early game finding yourself a village now <laughs> I, I feel like Minecraft might need this feature just for like vanilla Minecraft, just the experience, but it would be a little bit too OP. And let me show you what I mean. The fact that we found a village this early on. Oh my, what is down there? Oh gosh, I do not want to know. All right, the sun's setting. This is a perfect time to show you guys probably the most OP, but <laughs> the most fun part of this mod pack to begin with. But before we do that, let's sleep because... We are still in modern Minecraft, and, you know, if anyone knows what Minecraft is like, you don't really want to be out after dark when you don't really have anything to defend yourself with. So, Mr. Gollum, I'm going to take refuge in one of these homes, if you don't mind. Ah, perfect. No one around. Take ourselves a bed. Don't mind if I do take some of this wheat and, and bread. Cactus as well. Why not? Okay, now, getting on to why villagers are probably the most OP thing in this game, or in this mod pack, rather, uh, let me show you. So, we have a farmer right here. I'm actually going to come over here and break his job. Um, which one Which one is he? Where'd he go? Oh, God, there's so many farmers. Oh, my. I did not know. I'm sorry, sirs. Okay, look, we have to try to break some jobs. We need some unemployed villagers. Sorry, guys, I'm taking your jobs. We come over here. Now, this guy's lost his job. Um... I got a business proposition for you. <laughs> oh, you're coming with me, buddy. You're coming with me. You're getting a promotion. This is a mod called Easy Villages. And essentially what it does is it allows you to have a much much easier time and much more op time with villagers um and we'll get into a little bit more a little bit more as to how a little bit later on but for now what i really want to do is kind of fill my pockets up with villagers and then we'll be on our way okay so unfortunately i don't know i swear i've seen more villagers around here and i only got four so i don't know if they ran away i don't know if they seen me nabbing them all up and didn't want to be a part of it or, or what um <laughs> but there's no more villagers here and the only thing left to do is to take out their bodyguard i'm so sorry i know you let me in you gave me a house a place to stay but i, I gotta do what i gotta do you know and iron is gonna be really helpful for me right now oh he didn't drop me a rose Aha. Uh -huh. Now, before I head out of here, because I am about to, uh, this is kind of a good example of why it is or how that we can't use mods, not every mod to begin with. This is what's called a waystone. Essentially, once you set a, once you unlock a waystone, you can teleport here from other waystones at the cost of XP. But if I try to right click this thing right now, you see down the bottom side of the screen there, it says you must research waystones in order to interact with this block. So I don't actually have this mod unlocked yet, which comes from uh, kind of this tree here. And we'll get into that much later on. But it is worth noting, especially if you're going to play alongside uh, with me during this, that you still can take these. And it's very, very handy if you do. So with that said, we have nabbed up every villager that's here. You can hear villager noises. The little guys that you do pick up and put in your inventory, they do make noise. So this is going to be a bit of a long and noisy journey, but I need to go and set myself up a base of operations. Um, so we're going to have to go and try to find a, a safe space, somewhere we can build our own our own base. 
And I think that's probably where we're going to be for the majority of the series. Ooh. Ooh, please have goodies. Oh, my. Okay, I keep pressing that because we've been playing another mod pack with some friends. Look at that. I got some pants. Okay, and oh, my gosh. This spawn has to be one of the greatest. Oh, my God. All righty. Well, then. <laughs> what I'm going to do. Is that coal? If that's coal, I might try to grab that as well. Hmm. We are kind of running out of time though, like the, the, the sun is setting, but we should still be okay. I'm going to grab this coal. Is this coal? What is that? I don't even know how to say that word. Bit, bituminous sand. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to take it. One of the biggest things about this mod pack is that you have to pretty much hoard nearly everything you see. It makes it really hard in the early game, as you can see. My, my inventory is almost completely full. I'm going to drop the raw meats, actually, because I have enough wheat to last me a century. Uh, but yeah, you have to pretty much hoard every item you see. And again, that will be kind of make more sense the more we get into this mod pack. But I'm going to go loot this sand temple and then get the heck out of here. Ooh, okay, this is a good find. I'm not too sure what the Black Lotus does. Uh, but we're going to grab that anyway. Oh, man. This is what I was talking about before as well. It's a little bit hard to to hoard things in your inventory in the early game. But we're going to try our best here. My, oh, my. The fact that we just found those golden apples like that this early on is actually phenomenal. Actually phenomenal. I'm going to take this if I can. And then we're going to try to get out of here. Now, I purposely did not take the, uh, the TNT that was down there. Mainly because I want to come back for that. So to do that. Uh, we can actually add a new waypoint. That's one of the mod pack uh, features. It's one of the mods in this. So we're going to set this as sand temple. And just like that, we're going to change this to maybe like a yellow color for sand temple and confirm. Okay. So now this waypoint is going to be here at all times. And uh, if we ever want to come back here for that TNT, we can. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a skeleton. Man. Some of these caves look mighty tempting to explore through, but we're nowhere near equipped for that. Okay, so there's the village that we were just from all the way over there. It's hard to see, uh, but I don't really want to go too far, to be honest. We don't really need to go too far. We just need a big open area to be able to build, and I'm a big sucker for plains biomes. So over here might be a good spot. Oh my gosh, as soon as I say that, literally, we'll just... Look, there's another village! Another village. You're joking. Well then, okay. <laughs> well, I, I said earlier, this seed is probably one of the... This is a nutty seed for a beginning. It, it just got even better. Okay, well, at the moment, I'm in between that village. I haven't gone and explored it yet. And there's the village that we just started with. And I noticed this in the distance. 200 blocks, 300 blocks. This is cool. This is kind of like a, a crossroads sign. And you know what? This area right here doesn't look too bad. And I'm very impressed with this seed. And we haven't even really gone that far at all. We haven't even left the spawn area, to be honest. Um, and you know what? I kind of like this area. I, like I said, I'm a sucker for plains biomes. And we're in a little one right here. But it should be big enough for what we need. So let's get to building a, a little bit of a starter base. And I kind of want to keep this here. I think it's quite nice. So I think we're going to build over here. Let's get started. I still can't get over how good this area is. We have pigs over here. We have cows just over here. And then look what I just spotted hiding away behind these, these flowers and shrubbery. That's a beehive. This is incredible. I don't think I've ever even had a vanilla seed spawn this good. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy with this. And then there was one. Sorry, buddy. But at least now you've got this whole place to yourself. So, a bit of an update. As you can see, I've got myself some iron armor. But do you guys notice anything interesting about this armor? Have a look at my armor rating down above my health. I only have four pieces of armor. Now, I'm not really too sure of the specifics of this mod pack. But apparently, armor is less 
protective than it normally is in vanilla. So even though I'm dressed to head to toe in iron armor, it feels like it's almost as weak, if not weaker, than uh, than leather or something like that. But anyways, we digress. As you can see, I've done a bit of mining. I got a lot of iron because of vein miner. Um, there is a big section underground just here that opened up into a big cave and I wanted to collect a bunch of cobble and by doing so I found a whole bunch of iron and we got some coal and stuff but yeah this is where I'm going to be setting down my base of operations. I don't really have a full idea for a build yet but um, I do know that we need to make a house for, for some villagers so I might start there. I'm thinking about in this area here making a kind of uh, market surrounded by some walls kind of like a uh i don't know kind of like a little village or something i need to i need to make a big area with walls around here and put our villages and set them up um and so i think that's what i'm going to work on next uh before we do that let's go over here i'll show you that i've captured some am anim aminals aminals <laughs> animals they're quite loud i have a few cows i don't know if you guys can tell that or not yet um, but yeah, we've got the chickens, cows, pigs, and sheep. The sheep I am actually going to need uh, more of because I want their wool. And speaking of, if anyone doesn't know this trick about Minecraft yet, let me show you one of the easiest ways to get in and out of a pen. Instead of opening up the gate and worrying about all of your animals running out, you can just place down a piece of carpet right above a gate or wherever you'd like to on the fence. Excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. They're not going to let me. They're not going to let me in, are they? No. <laughs> but you can just place down some carpet just like that and jump up and uh, you don't have to worry about the animals doing so because they can't for some reason. They know how to work a gate, but they don't know how to jump up on carpet. Anyways, so we've got our sheep here. We do... Oh, one of the bees is ready. Oh, I might actually try to work on get, collecting some honeycomb already because that could come in handy later on. Oh my god, look at this guy. Lose a little bit. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. I'm so stoked about this starting area. But uh, yeah, to really start progressing, uh, we need two things. We need to set up a villager camp so that we can get uh, a whole bunch of uh, trades and stuff going on. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. But before we do any of that, I feel like I need some diamonds. Because mentioning about the armor, this is good and everything. It's brand spanking new. I haven't even used it, but it's not that great. And to progress to get some obsidian and all these other things, I feel like we need diamond so that we can go to the nether and fight and survive much easier and, and progress. So I think I'm going to go mining to look for some diamond first. Oh, oh my days. I was beginning to think we would never find these. <laughs> now, now I'm worried though that uh, it's not going to be that much. I'm kind of scared to be honest. Okay, there's two at least. Three. Okay, all right. You know what? We'll take three. We will take it. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no, I need room. Flint, nobody likes you. Oh god, I still didn't even pick it up. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, four! We got four diamonds. That's nice. That is nice. Well, at least we're finally making some progress. Oh, what is that? Oh god, that's a spawner. Oh geez. Um, this might be a really bad idea. What kind? Ah! Oh! Oh jeez! Oh, that's bad. That's a lot of mobs. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought I was going to explode. What the heck? That's a witch. Yeah, no, no, I'm not messing with that. That's that's the opposite of what we want. I'm just here for some diamonds. I don't want none of that. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I was starting to not believe. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, five more. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we're starting to roll. I've been mining for quite a while now. I w uh, you can kind of see it in the mini-map on the top left. I have been digging like a termite. And I just haven't been getting that lucky. But, one step closer. Oh, you're joking me. Are you kidding me? This is like 15, no, probably a little more. Oh my gosh. Well, 
This is what I'm talking about. Finally, you know, so, oh, uh, uh, how many? Oh my god, is that even possible? How many? One, two, three, four, five. Was that eight? I think I was eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no way that was a block of eight. Oh my gosh. Well then, uh, I guess all the suffering and not finding any for the past, I don't know how long, hour and a bit maybe, it's finally paying off. Alrighty, well, uh, we finally made it out of the mine. It felt like I was down there for ages. We were down there for quite some time. Uh, but I ran out of picks. Well, I was about to run out of picks. I didn't really want to make any more because we had 21 diamonds before leaving. And I think that's going to be good enough for now because we can actually uh, have another way of getting some armor. I didn't even really remember until I was down there. And uh, we can get into that a little bit later on. But I think it's been enough time now. The slowest part of this episode and this journey is kind of getting started. And uh, what we're about to do next is about to make that whole process a lot easier. So it's time to go to bed and then we're working on the villager farm. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what you might see behind me kind of looks like stables, I guess. I'm not really much of a builder, but we are gonna change that, hopefully work on it a little bit this series. But uh, let me explain. Let me explain what's going on. I can explain. I promise. Uh, we're getting into the fun stuff now of this mod pack. Oh my god, these villagers are making so much noise. Um, okay, so essentially what this is going to do is give these guys a bit of a temporary home. This is going to be changed, I promise. This is only temporary. This is just so I can get these guys to be operational and uh, actually start to get some use out of these guys because... What these guys are, are really capable of is game changing in this mod pack. So we're going to have our two farmers here. Oh, whoops, my bad. I forgot to put a fence in the middle there. You guys can't be uh, can't be hanging out together like that. So the, the trap door stops them from going out because I don't know if you guys have noticed they got they're a little bit taller than we are. These villagers. But uh, yeah, this is going to be their temporary home for now. Um, again, like I said, it is going to change. But let me show you what I mean by why these guys are going to be the most important part about this mod pack. So not only with this easy villagers mod pack can we pick these guys up and, and you know, transport them much easier, but this is where the magic really starts to, to, to come into play because we need these guys to get jobs, right? Just like most villagers do. And let me show you this brilliance of this mod so i'm going to go up to this librarian here we're going to need a lot of librarians by the way because we need a lot of enchanted books um and if we come up to this guy we can see he's oh, unbreaking three straight off the bat for 41 emeralds okay that's kind of expensive my my guy i'm not, I'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie that's kind of expensive <laughs> But let me uh, let me kind of explain. So as you can see, this guy has now got a job as a librarian. Let's say that we didn't want this on breaking three for 41 emeralds. We want to try to get it cheaper. Usually in vanilla Minecraft, and I've done this a million and one times, you would have to break the job block that they have and replace it again and wait for them to continuously pick it back up again. But with this mod in the UI here, we have a cycle trades button. And it's, it's literally simple as just clicking that button. And it's now it's changed to the curse of binding. Okay, I see how it is. I didn't like your deal, so now you're, now you're punishing me. But we can just recycle that over and over and over again. This isn't costing anything. It's not costing me XP or anything like that. I can continuously roll this trade until I get what I want. And it's going to make this whole process of getting diamond armor and all the gear and enchantments that we need or want so so simple so long as we have some farmers down here who have taken their job uh we need some carrots we need some carrot trades there we go 22 carrots for one emerald we need you to have some carrot trades too as you can see i have a bunch of those these guys want to make a deal already so we can farm our emeralds like this so so easy because one of the other mods that we got which was the twerking mod uh which allows us to grow our crops so much easier if we now need to farm emeralds, all I have to do is come over to our farm that we have over here of carrots. Let me pick this up. And then I just sit here and do a little dance. And hold down hold down the uh, the right click on the hoe. And we just sit here and farm carrots for the next 60 seconds. And we can have trades 
four days. This is ridiculous. But this is how this mod pack works, as you can see now what I mean by it being OP and why I was so excited about it earlier. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So what I think I'm going to do is try to, I might need to try to see if I can make myself an armor smith. That way I can trade up and try to get ourselves some diamond armor that way. And I can also set up a uh, an alchemist. I'm not too sure if that's the right job name. Uh, but the villagers who trade, or like who have the potion, the brewing stand as a job, we can use that to get ourselves some emeralds. So that when we go to the nether, which is going to be very soon, all we need to do is get the blaze rods. Alrighty, so I, I kind of underestimated how much time this would take. As you can see, I went to go and start building around. Um, I do need a lot more librarians, but I'm going to have to get to that later. I wanted to make this guy a armorsmith uh, so that for now I can start trading emeralds and, and make our way up to diamond armor. So that way we don't have to spend all the diamonds that we already have or already have had. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the rest of that later, but I'm already out of villages, so... We need to we need to remedy that. Um, I've never done this before. Oh, and my pickaxe broke. I'll use this one. I've never actually made a villager farm before, so I don't know. I'm not too sure if this is the correct way to do it, but I'm pretty sure you just have two villagers. Uh, we need to make one of them the uh, a uh, a farmer. So as long as one of them, there we go. One of them goes over and gets the farmer job, and then we take these carrots and we plant all these carrots around here. Make him nice and happy, and I think we can maybe even give him a bit, give him a few, uh, a few carrots, and so long as there's three beds placed down, I believe, that's enough to make these guys happy. Is he gonna, is he just gonna stomp on all those? Is that really how that's gonna work there, bud? Do I need to move this? You're already ruining the crops. What are you doing to me, bud? Okay, maybe we do need to move this thing. Um, I am a little bit worried about these guys drowning, so maybe <laughs> I'll just grab a carpet. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to take quite some time, like, I I mean quite some time. So I think I might do a bunch of grinding of this um, and then see how we go. But you can kind of see my idea and what I mean by this, right? What we're going to be doing now. Oh god, no, no, no. You guys can't get out. I'm sorry. <laughs> what we're going to be doing, oh god, from now on is essentially... Eh, eh. Oh no, I can't see a thing. I've just messed it up. Okay, there we are. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, you kind of get the idea now though. Uh, after I get these guys going and they start making some babies, hopefully, we can uh, really start to utilize this villager farm and get all the gear that we ever need. Go to the nether, get our blaze rods so we have our ender pearls here at home. Blaze rods bring them back and we can go and fight the ender dragon and hopefully be geared up while we do it. Oh. Oh, I think it's just happened. I think it's just happened. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of carrots. That, uh, he just got paid. And this guy's like, I want some of that. I want some of them carrots. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. Not today. Not today. All right, guys. So with a little bit more trial and error and a lot more training, I mean a lot more training, we got everything that we need. We got everything that we need from these villagers. We got ourselves all of the diamond armor that we need. So as you can see, we traded up a bunch with this guy. So now we can get a full diamond armor set, which I've already gotten. And as you can see, we got ender pearls as well from the cleric. Super, super, super nice. And we have every enchantment that we could ever need. I've traded with these guys once just to lock in the trades. Uh, where were the books? They're over here. They are over here. So as you can see, we have things like flame for our bow, silk touch, power four, infinity protection, sharpness, mending, and we're good to go on that front. Um, ooh, what are you selling? Awesomes. Wandering traders might become very important later on in this series. Uh, we might have to uh, <clears throat> make you a permanent resident of our place later on. But anyways... Uh, We've got everything that we need to go and, you know, go to the end, get some blaze rods. Uh, sorry, go to the nether and get some blaze rods and then maybe make our way to the end. Um, except for time. We're out of time, I think, for this very first episode. I want to try to keep these about 30 minutes long. Uh, this one might even go a little bit, just a little bit over that, but that's okay. Because, you know, we're, we're getting started. This is the slowest process of this whole entire thing. But we're pretty much ready to go. Our iron armor has served us well. Our iron tools are, like, pretty much broken. This, this stone hoe has four durability on it left. Do you know how many carrots this, this stone hoe has gotten me? Too many. Too many. 
But yes, I think we're going to continue this again uh, next episode. We're going to put on all of our diamond armor, enchant it with books and all that good stuff, head to the nether, get blaze rods, and then I think we can go and take on the end dragon. And then that just puts us one step closer to actually going in and starting our very first vault. So with that being said, I'm going to end it here. I really do hope everyone enjoyed this video. I really, really do. If you do, please leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And leave a like. I know I've been a little bit MIA. I've been very MIA uh, for quite a while. But I want to start uploading regularly. And I feel like this is the best way for me to do it. Um, there's, there's no other different things that I have to worry about. I can just get on and start recording these videos with me and you guys watching and, and have something a little bit interactive and fun and maybe try to make this thing go for quite a while. Who knows? But please do make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you're excited to see a little bit more, I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd really like to see you guys, uh, you know, commenting down below. I'd, I'd read them and, and I'll, I'll try to reply to as many as I can. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to get working on the very next episode. We're going to head to the nether and all that good stuff, and we'll see how we go. But anyways, guys, girls, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, I hope you guys are doing okay today. Make sure to ask someone that. Check up on your friends, family, loved ones, anything like that. And, uh, you know, just make sure you're okay. Have a good night. Have a good day wherever you are in the world. I appreciate it a lot, and I will see you guys soon.